The Ridiculous Six is a Netflix original film that stars Adam Sandler, Jorge Garcia, Terry Crews, Taylor Lautner, Luke Wilson, and Rob Schneider, and about 20,000 more people. Now we all know Adam Sandler hasn't made the best choices in life in recent memory. How we doing? Your twin sister. Are you going bald? Huh? No, 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 you're getting fatter, and your hair doesn't realize it needs to cover more face. But I was honestly a little bit excited for The Ridiculous Six. I'm a fan of westerns, I haven't watched many westerns, but I like the idea of western films, I like the tone and the setting, the atmosphere that westerns create. I thought A Million Ways to Die in the West was a funny western film. I even thought The Good Dinosaur was a great western film. And here we had a western film that is tackled by Adam Sandler. And this can go so many ways. But on the bright side, it's fun. It's a great movie. I thought it was enjoyable. I thought this was a good team effort. When Tommy, played by Adam Sandler, learns that he has a father that is being taken by this gang, they order that he pays $50,000 to get his father in return. Well, the only way to get this $50,000 is to rob banks and steal money. But on the way, Tommy learns that he has five brothers, and together, they form the Ridiculous Six. Now this movie is a bit ridiculous at times, I'm gonna be honest. Some of the scenes remind me of why I don't like certain Adam Sandler films, but in other ways, I thought this film worked a lot better than other Adam Sandler films. And I think that relied heavily on this group effort. You have a lot of actors that have probably worked with Adam Sandler before, and the six of them actually create this atmosphere and this relationship that they actually are brothers. They all work so well together. They made jokes off of each other. You can tell that they were there for each other. There was just something about the relationship between the six of them that seemed very close. But a standout in a bad way is Taylor Lautner, who plays Lil Pete. And Lil P is um, an interesting character. If you guys have watched the trailers, you can tell that he'll be an interesting character. When they first showed Lil Pete in the movie, I said, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a little bit of a fun ride. Now, for the sake of Taylor Lautner's case, I thought he actually had a lot of fun filming this movie. You could tell that he had a genuine, natural smile going about this whole entire film. But that being said, I thought the character was ridiculous. But it did add for some laughs throughout. This film actually was shot pretty great. For it being a Netflix original film, I thought some of the angles and the lighting and the camera work was really great. None of it seemed really fake. The set locations, the set pieces, the costumes, they were handled really great for a Western comedy. I was expecting some cheap set pieces and cheap costume designs. And accompanied with this great set piece and great costume designs and the great location is a pretty good score honestly. So The Ridiculous Six, I was surprised. It had a lot of great things going for it. Had a great team effort. I liked the location a lot. I liked the score and and there were a lot of jokes in here that I laughed hard at. Oh and guys, pay attention for Vanilla Ice. So The Ridiculous Six, I actually enjoyed it a lot. I laughed a lot. I smiled. It's a fun film. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. This is Just Watch Movies with his review of The Ridiculous Six, which is a Netflix original movie. Definitely check it out if you guys are just bored and you guys have Netflix. Nothing else to watch. I'd give it a watch. It's funny. It's not your typical Adam Sandler movie because I think it relied heavily on the other cast members, so many of them, to make it a group effort. This is Just Watch Movies. I hope everybody is enjoying their holidays, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.